Hundreds of bills cross the finish line as the Maryland General Assembly wraps up its final day. Now they're heading to Governor Larry Hogan's desk, ready for his signature. Political reporter Pat Warren has what's being signed. Governor Hogan is calling this his best session ever. Cordial and complimentary, Governor Hogan and the Democratic leadership chalked this session up to bipartisanship. Uh, we're very uh, excited about the fact that I believe this is how government is supposed to work. We have disagreements. Uh, but we try to uh, reach common ground and to make things happen and get things done. They signed more than 100 bills today. Most of our highest priorities all got done, and it's thanks to these two gentlemen sitting on either side of me. Ethics, transportation, and jobs signed into law. This is going to help the areas where we really need them. The jobs in Baltimore City and Western Maryland and Eastern Shore and places like that. The governor thanked the speaker and the president. And all of our legislators on both sides of the aisle uh, who really did work together this session and got a lot done. Of course, it's not all kumbaya. Governor Hogan can veto bills like perhaps the paid sick leave bill, but the General Assembly can come right back in January and try to override them. I'm Pat Warren reporting from Annapolis. Now back to you. A new legislative ethics bill signed today increases penalties for bribery to $10,000 in fines and up to 12 years in prison.